This is a case of laser cataract surgery on a patient with prior eight cut radial keratotomy. We use a chain cannula to perform hydro dissection and the capsulotomy is perfectly round at this point. As we create the hydro dissection wave, we discover that there's an extension of the anterior capsule in this region right here. We look at it carefully and at this point, we're not sure if it's just an extension of the anterior capsulotomy edge or if it's residual strands of cortex. Bake emulsification and irrigation and aspiration of the cataract is performed in a routine manner. And then at this point now we get a better look at the anterior capsule extension that we can see at 7 o'clock. We then use viscoelastic to stabilize the interior chamber before we remove our fake emulsification instrument. We then note that there's likely to be an opening in the posterior capsule as well as, well as an anterior capsule extension. Irrigation and aspiration is performed carefully. And as we evacuate the residual cortical remains, we see the extent of the posterior capsule opening, which extends from approximately 12 o'clock to 7 o'clock. We remove the subincisional cortex using a bimanual technique where we aspirate with the cannula while we run the infusion with the INA handpiece. Viscoelastic is again infused into the capsular bag. So now what do we do? We have an open bag. We have an anterior capsule extension that has wrapped around posteriorly. And the plan was to put in a symphony lens implant. Should we put in a lens in the sulcus or a lens in the bag? And if so, uh, do we worry about centration issues with a lens in the bag, stability issues with a lens in the bag? Let's see how the story unfolds. We elect to place the Symphony one-piece lens into the capsular bag. I had a plan A and a plan B. Plan A is to successfully insert the Symphony into the bag. And if that implant did not adequately center and remain stable in the bag, then I was going to remove it and then place a three-piece eye well in the sulcus. Uh, we are able to stabilize the symphony lens in the, in the capsular bag areas that remain, making sure to orient the haptics in the areas where there is adequate equatorial capsular support. Viscoelastic is then removed from the anterior chamber. And at the conclusion of the case, the symphony appears to be stable and perfectly centered. This is the patient on the first day postoperatively, and we can see through the slit lamp through the slit lamp that the lens implant is perfectly centered. The patient's vision was 20, 25 uncorrected. The patient was very pleased with their unaided and best corrected visual acuity and as you can see, the patient's refraction was excellent on postoperative day number one. So this case demonstrates that it is possible to place the symphony lens into the capsular bag despite the absence of an intact posterior capsule. And this individual was very happy with their visual outcome on the first day. Thank you for your time and attention.